Hey, Rutcher community, what's going on? Just a few channel updates before we get into this month's pickups. There aren't a whole lot of pickups, by the way, because of the holiday season. You know, some financial strains as a result. No big deal, whatever. I did manage to get a few things, though. But I wanted to get some updates out there to you guys, just in case you're waiting on anything from a previous video or a previously mentioned project. So the first update I have is I ordered a bunch of different components off of Amazon, namely some jumper wires, capacitor kits, things like that, just so that I have for future projects. So I'm not constantly running out just to get one or odd capacitors to finish a project. I also picked up as part of this Amazon purchase some TRS jacks and TRS AV breakout cables so that I can finally hopefully complete this Atari 2600 mod. Well, that is after I figure out that really weird scrolling bar issue that you guys saw in the last video. Not sure what's causing that. I still have to do some more digging around. Maybe I'm not going to be able to get rid of that problem now. We'll see. But I want to finish that one finally, get that off my plate. I also purchased some Commodore 64 stuff, namely a replacement VIC-2 and some RAM chips so that I can attempt to repair the second C64 that I picked up, which was in itself an attempt to pick up a unit with spare parts to try to repair the first one, uh, which kind of did with its donor VIC-2 chip. But I want to get both of them working. I just have to run some more diagnostics first. And I really want to get that project wrapped up and going so that I can get that video recorded, done, over with, etc. I also want to go back to a normal episode type video because I haven't had one in a little bit. And I want to focus on game consoles for the next one or two episodes because I've been doing a lot of retro computer stuff. Yeah, I know I just you know did the Atari 2600 composite video mod. But that's not the same thing as like a normal episode where I go into its history, maybe a little bit of company history as well, refurbishing process, testing it out, trying it out, things like that. And finally, I did not forget about my Mac Plus or Mac SE. I just, uh, like I said, I want to focus uh, on some game systems first for a little while and then get back into the retro computing. So I still don't have like a firm timeline yet for when I want to get to that stuff. I don't want to set any expectations for you guys but I am going to get to it, don't worry. And I think those are all the updates I have for now. If I come up with anything else, I'll add it to the end of the video. But for now, onto the January 2020 pickups. And welcome to the January uh, 2020 pickups. First item I have to show off is an eBay purchase, and I think I know what it is, and I'm actually surprised I got it as quick as I did. So let's take a look inside and see what's in here. Wow, this adhesive is on here really well piece of wire a micro circuit board oh bumped the camera sorry and some RC plugs some of you might already know what this is others not what this is is a composite video mod for the Atari 2600 and 7800 this uh you know, will obviously give you the ability to have an AV output instead of the crappy RF output that the Atari 2600 came with by default, and that's all it ever had. So, so I will probably be making a video on this. In fact, it may air before I even air the uh, pickups video for January. We'll see. But I will be uh, recording this and showing how to install it, and it'll be fun. All right, on to the next item. Okay, and the next pickup for January 2020 is this guy right here what the heck is it well it's a seemingly popular uh, HDMI video capture kit it'll capture 4k and uh, you can dump it to your computer using USB 3 and it also has an HDMI out pass through to your TV and apparently it doesn't have any lag now I don't necessarily have anything that I want to capture in HDMI at this time. HDMI cable, USB cable for power, and then a USB 3 cable to hook up to your computer, as well as a little pigtail just in case. But at this time, I don't have anything that I want to capture over HDMI, but at some point in the future, I may. So I've got this now. It wasn't too expensive. Like, 70 bucks or so on Amazon and there's different Brandings of this one. I think one Chinese company makes it and they just you know Sell it to a bunch of different other companies put their little logos and stuff on there, but they're all basically the same 
So we'll test it out one day and see how it works. On to the next item. And the next thing I have is a uh, game pick for the Wii U. It's uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I've been trying to find this for a good price, and I finally found one for a good price, so I picked it up. Now, you can't pick this up on the Switch, but you're going to be paying full price for basically the same game. Whereas this, you can get for probably 20 bucks or less. It is uh, complete, along with the uh, rewards code, which has probably been used already, not that it matters. The manual is in here, the disc is here, everything's in good shape, so... Glad that I got that, finally. And now on to the last item for January. There aren't a whole lot, but it's a, it's a book that I've been meaning to pick up for a while. Uh by a YouTuber called, uh, known as the Nostalgia Nerd. And it's basically just going over old systems from the Atari all the way up to the, I think the original Xbox. I don't think it's any of the newer ones. And it retails for $19.99 in the US, but I got it on sale. So I figured, yep, might as well pick it up. That's a sign. And we'll probably go over it maybe at some point. Not sure, but open up to a random page here. Oh, the ColecoVision. There you go. So, yeah, so that, that's what I got for January. Again, it wasn't a huge, huge haul this month, but, you know, uh, January is a little bit of a tough time financially because of Christmas and everything. So, so that's all I got. And as I said before, kind of a small pickup for January 2020, but it is what it is. And as usual, if you liked this video, the thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, the thumbs down, but please leave a comment below as to why so that I can use that information to help improve this channel. Thanks all, and I'll catch you later.